Well, we all love burgers. I can tell you that I love mine with lots of cheese <laughs> and mustard and mm -hmm. ketchup and pickles. Wow, my mouth is watering already. already. It's almost lunchtime. This mm -hmm. happens all the time. It sure is. <laughs> but the next one we're going to tell you about is sure to fit. Uh, well, a monster-sized appetite. Yeah, uh, enough to feed the family. The Fifth Third Burger is sold at Grand Rapids' own Fifth Third Ballpark, and it was featured on the Food Network mm -hmm. over the weekend. Fantastic. Rachel went inside the kitchen at the ballpark to learn how to make one and to get the scoop on a really cool food contest for baseball fans. It is said to be the highest caloric item ever sold at a ballpark. We are talking about the Fifth Third Burger. And you know it's big when the bottom bun is as big as your face. <laughs> we're here in the kitchen of Fifth Third Ballpark and we're talking with Mickey Graham of the West Michigan Whitecaps. And you've been selling this for a while here. Yeah, two years now. Hmm. It's hard to believe. Yeah, and you've really gained a lot of worldwide attention for this really enormous burger. Yeah, you know, the food is something we always do at the ballpark here. And coming out, to the, coming out here, we try to do family fun. And food is always part of that. So we try to do kind of kitschy fun things as well. <laughs> We've done deep fried Pepsi, we big turkey drums. Every year we always would try to come up with something different. And this year, or I should say two years ago now, um, we had this idea to come up with, and it just blossomed. It took over <laughs> everything. Yeah, I think with fat and calories. This, doesn't this scream blossom? This right says here? this says it all. And I got to tell you, there is a lot of love and a lot of really high calorie food that goes into making a fit third burger, and. I'm really excited because you've agreed to actually kind of do it here. We're going to show you the secret recipe right here. The secret recipe. I cannot wait. This is something that I would love to make for my family. No, actually, I'm a, I'm a healthy well, person. Well, I, actually, we intended this to do family four. Okay. Get a slice of four, family four. You can get it for $20. Mm -hmm. you know, it feeds them for the night. But there's a lot of odd people out there that want to try to eat this whole thing. Uh -huh. yes. So, Mickey, where do you even begin with something like the fifth third burger? Well, the first thing is the bun, as you said. And Very that's, large. Yeah, this is not your normal size bun. You can't get this at the like, you know, grocery store. This is specially made for us in town. Mm -hmm. It's an eight-inch bun. It's a, slice. it's a sesame seed bun. We slice it in, uh, in half here. So, check your top and your bottom. The first thing you got to do, I mean, what's a good hamburger without chili? Yep. So, you take a a big handful of chili there, a spoonful. Okay, so next thing. So chili here. As it's a fifth third burger, what we do is five one third pound burger patties. Oh my goodness. So you the fifth third and the Lots five of grease on those. Uh, of course. <laughs> now the next thing we need is cheese right here. Cheese slices here? Cheese slices. So what you gotta do is you put one slice of cheese on each burger. We normally make this with gloves, folks. So, yeah. Okay, now since it's a fifth third burger and we're the white caps, you can't just have one kind of cheese on it. Yeah. Oh, you got to move over here. And this is yeah, really handy because we, this is for the nachos, we, yeah, too? Yeah, you just stay there. We don't want you okay. to drop that. Okay. okay, I know it's getting really heavy here. Oh. So you got nacho oh. cheese, of course, right? Okay. Don't you think you need nacho cheese on this as well? Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Stopping my heart. Oh, I think you might want to set that down. Yeah, it's that. getting really heavy. Really heavy. Okay. See, then what we have here, we have you know, lettuce, tomato, uh, Tortilla chips and sour cream that we'll put on here. Too. Okay. So, Should I just start? Start, put it on there. I'd say the sour cream for last. Okay. If you want. So, so. We can put that on the top part of the bun. See, what? this has, and we say this has a little less than 5,000 calories oh. normally. Okay, and what about the grams here? What are we talking? Well, I don't have that on my top of my head, but it's definitely over your daily allotment. <laughs> Sure. Actually, I thought actually, I read maybe 299 that's, fat grams. Sounds about right. I think that's yeah. I think that's the number. But I'm actually, trying to get the healthy stuff on. Yeah, more healthy stuff. Yeah, the lettuce. That's what's really going to go. So I'll tell you about, the next thing. Cream. Yeah, let's do it this way. Grab that sour cream and we'll put okay. it on. Put it on the top of the bottom. All oh, right. Yeah, like what we do with the chili. It's on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Good more. I think you need a little bit more. I well, how, you're going to eat this, so how much do you uh, want on there? I heard we were sharing it. We are? Perfect. <laughs> just, just right on top of there. This is beautiful. And so the Fifth Third Burger I hear is being featured on the Food Network? Yes, Unwrapped with Mark Summers. All right. So you also have a way for fans to get involved with this whole crazy food process. Yeah, over the next week, we're asking fans to submit their ideas of what they want to see on our menu. So we're looking for pictures, recipes, you know, be as creative as you want to be. Anything 
that a fan can dream of. Anything. It well, it wouldn't have got be within reason. <laughs> we got to be able to make it here, you know? You never so, thought this would happen, we right? Never, that's true. We never thought that would be it, a You know, and, and speaking of, you know, I've never had one of these, and I hear this is your first as well. Yeah, I've never had one either. Two years. All right. Really? History being made here. And there's no truth to the rumor that Rachel is actually off today because she's exercising until she works off all the calories because she and Mickey polished the whole thing off, just the two of them. Yeah, that would be a day's worth of exercising, <laughs> for me at least. <laughs> okay, we have a difference of opinion. I thought it looked delicious. I probably would have left off the sour cream, and I'm not a big fan of tomatoes on hamburgers either, but the rest of that stuff looked fantastic. And here's me going, yeah, I would put the sour cream on. There's dairy. Put all the veggies. I could even skip the meat. That would be just fine. <laughs> Jerry and I going back and forth. Oh, yeah. We have very different dietary uh, <laughs> ideas about what's delicious and what's not. Well, it is an incredible, uh, really, connection that the Whitecaps allow fans to make in terms of figuring out new menu items. Sure. Absolutely wonderful. And actually, in two seasons, the Whitecaps have served more than 32 Hundred <laughs> fifth third burgers to fans. If you're interested in creating something cool, as they mm -hmm. mentioned, and creative to serve up at the third ballpark, the Whitecaps want to hear from you. That's right. As Mickey mentioned, the ball club will be taking suggestions for menu items from now until February 3rd. Then 10 ideas will be selected, and on February 22nd, people can go online to vote for the food they want to see on the menu this summer. Mickey, I'm still lobbying. I want a Spam Burger at the ballpark, okay? you got to have Spam Burger. Do you recall for Secret Santa, somebody gave Terry Spam mm -hmm. in a My can. My favorite food. Yeah, yes, there is a drawer with Spam in it <laughs> in the 24-hour tracking center, and it's all for Terry. That's right, exactly. So if you want to submit your ideas, here's how you can do it. You go to the Whitecaps Facebook page, or you can do it through Twitter, or you can even email in your idea. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. I think Laura's thinking something healthy, maybe. Mm -hmm. You know what? Sometimes Sometimes when you're at the ballpark, you want something healthy. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. there's always hot dogs and always the ice cream, but I don't know. I'm a little bit health conscious. Though. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stay around. Stick around. We'll be right back. You're all access pass to everything West Michigan.